Alrighty, what is up folks? Uh, my name is Melvin and welcome. Glad to see you here. Glad to see you doing amazingly well. So, um, you know, something I've just started noticing on YouTube is that you really don't have to have any sort of talent to become successful on YouTube. And you really shouldn't see that as a horrible thing. Um, cause that just shows you that anyone can succeed on this platform. Doesn't necessarily mean everyone will, uh, but anyone can. Now I didn't see it as a positive thing, uh, way back when, uh, cause I, when I first started making content on YouTube, uh, I was teaching myself how to edit without even really realizing it. Um, I just did it cause it was fun. And, um, the more I did it, the more I started realizing, wow, I'm actually pretty good at it. Um, you know, maybe one day I can do this, uh, full time. And that was kind of the, the moment when I realized that I, sh I really, that was kind of my downfall there was just thinking because I had the talent that, you know, that automatically meant I was going to succeed. Should not have thought that way. Um, that is probably why I just have so much problems being creative in the first place. Um, simply because I thought if you do X, you get Y. And that's, that's definitely, um, just not the case, especially with just how life is in general. Um, so if you're able to watch this video right now, you are probably more privileged than millions and millions of people living on this planet, uh, right now, you know, and it, it, it's, it's crazy to think that, um, so life is, it, it, it's huge. It's, it's, it's gigantic. Um, and it, it, it's such a, it's such a complex place, you know, cause it's all about the perspective that, that we, we get. Um, so I think what has helped me become more mature than, uh, or like at least mature really quickly growing up was having two different perspectives in life. So um, I had the perspective of when I went to school, the people I went with uh, in school, like I went with a lot of Americans, you know, they lived a specific lifestyle. And then when I went home, I kind of grew up in a Dominican household, you know, where pretty much everyone in the house spoke Spanish. Um, we ate specific foods. And every once in a while, we would go visit family, either in other states or in the Dominican itself. And just kind of getting that experience to see what other cultures was was like, you know, and I think that's that's an experience. That's why if you ever have the opportunity to do so, I think everyone should try to leave their own country and try to experience it, what it's like in, in another country. Even if you're not going to live there, even if you don't like the place, I think just getting that that perspective is super duper important. Um, but yeah, I just, the, the, you know, the more I'm on YouTube, the more I'm just like, I, I shouldn't edit at all. You know, like I, I, I kind of want to make an example of just, I, if I'm just going to keep making videos, I, I really should not be putting a whole lot of effort in it anymore. And there's some reasons to that. Um, I enjoy making content like this where I don't have to, I, I, I'm just talking to you guys. I'm, I, I try to, I try to make sure that these videos come off as, as natural as possible, you know, where, as if you are actually talking to me, I know no one can really sit down and listen to me for 10 minutes, but I like to think that it's possible. Um, and then there's just also the fact that, um, it, it, this is a skill I would like to get good at, you know, talking for a short period of time and just kind of getting my points across and in a manner that I hope people could enjoy, you know, it, it, it is something I would like to get good at, you know, uh, so whenever you're trying to get good at something, I think you should try your best to always figure out what are other people doing? that I could, or what, what is, what is something missing from that? What, what is a, 
an element that I can bring to the table. And I feel like that's why I like making stuff like this because I think this is a skill that I can offer to the world. You know, it might be a simple skill. It might be something that it, it, it might not mean much to a lot of people, but I, I, I do think being able to have a conversation with people is important, not only to my day to day, but hopefully to others out there. I am hoping to give you a perspective that either you can relate to or something that you can learn from. Um, I'm always trying to, to learn pr pretty much every day, even if I'm not reading a book, even if I'm not, um, you know, even if I'm not doing the, the normal things it takes to learn, I'm always trying to learn. And again, it's kind of that, that, that same thing I was just talking about earlier on. It's like, I feel like if you get X, you're going to get Y as well. I, I shouldn't be thinking that way, but that is why I learn all the time because I feel like it's going to benefit me in the future. But you should always, um, I think th there's something I, I was listening to that I think has kind of changed how I'm going to start living my life, hopefully. So you don't brush your teeth so that they're better tomorrow. You brush your teeth so that they're better like 10, 20, 30 you 40 years down the line, you, you do some, you, you do those simple, basic tasks that just take two to three minutes out of your day so that you can grow up with as much teeth in your mouth as, as, as possible. You know, that is why most people brush their teeth. And in reality, we should be doing most of those things and seeing that part of life a lot. You know, if, if, if more people spent five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, just practicing the piano or something like that, then they would eventually become master pianists. You know, if I spent 10 to 20 minutes a day just talking to you right out there, then eventually, I don't know what's a, I'm trying to find a comparison with like master pianist or something like that. But eventually I, I, I'm going to figure these things out. You know, all the, the topics that I enjoy talking about, I, I enjoy talking about the nerdy stuff. I enjoy making people laugh. I enjoy getting to the nitty gritty and, and talking about emotions and, and mental health. And, you know, maybe I'm not good at it now. Maybe it's embarrassing. Just <laughs> maybe I'll listen to this video and just feel embarrassed about it. But this is genuinely what I want to do. And I've just, I'm learning to kind of let go my past thoughts because I, I was really looking at my YouTube videos and just like seeing where it could get me, you know, five to 10 years down the line, but like in, in all of the wrong ways, you know, I have to really enjoy what I'm doing and I have to kind of figure out what I want out of these videos. I have to really enjoy, I have to really figure out just, um, I guess I, I have to figure out what these, what these videos mean to me, you know, cause that, that's, that's where it starts. It, it starts with me and I, I have to figure out what, what, what these mean to me. You know, I, I can't just, I, I can no longer live life just, acting like these things don't mean much to me or like, oh, I can do 10 of these in a day. I can bam, 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 bam. You know, like I, I have to, I have to figure out why I do this in the first place. You know, am I, am I wasting my time or am I, is it, is this going to go somewhere for me? Is, is this, and I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm, I'm just tired of inflicting pain onto myself because either I'm expecting a different result or my mind just can't make up what it wants to do, you know? So thank you so much for listening and I hope you guys had a wonderful day. Okay. Take care.